I, I watched an interview with you uh, in from 1986, Short Circuit. Wow, <laughs> where did you? Yeah. Is this shit online? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it is I'm unbelievable. I'm and this so really scared. weird guy from Oregon who's like reading like lines off of a thing. It's the weird. It's so weird. Wow, I'm glad I can't watch that. I had such nice hair back. Oh then. man, you looked you you looked like so really sad. really good. Thanks, buddy. But even back then. He was, because you were playing this Indian role, right? Yeah, yeah. He was even kind of asking you back then, is this offensive? Yeah. Do you think that you could do that role today? No. I mean, there's no way I, I would get that role today. No. And, and would I even do that role today? I mean, I, I, I mean, it's weird. Like, that wasn't that long ago, right? But that role, I was cast as myself. And then they rewrote the script and made him ethnic. And they cast Bronson Pinchot, who had just done Beverly Hills Cop, because he was like a strange character in that. And then Bronson Pinchot, something, I don't know, it, it just didn't work out with him. So then they said, can you do an Indian accent? And I was like, OK. And I didn't even think twice, and I did it. And, and then I said, oh my God, I've got to be good. And I was really a method actor back then. So I lived with an Indian family. I like literally immersed myself in that culture. Um, so I was aware of it, you know. And so when I did the second one, I went to India and I almost died of food poisoning. Um, but I, I stayed in India for like five weeks. You know, I really got into it. I'm still into yoga. I was into yoga. I was into. You know, I was really living the life of an Indian person and trying as close. Um, but yeah, I think today it's, it would probably be sort of offensive. They've talked about doing another short circuit and not having me in it because they were afraid you can't paint the guy's face and you know. But you know, I don't know. But we are actors. I mean, like I remember studying characters and that's what you do you become I mean Peter Sellers my idol you know was an Indian and you know um, that's that's part of our job as an actor um, so I don't know I, I, I had a, the greatest time I would love to but I understand why they get pissed <laughs> do you think that that's bad do you think that in this day and age that's bad or is that good that that now that role would if it wasn't didn't go to an indian person there would be oh for major. sure major yeah for sure yeah i don't think it would happen it wouldn't happen yeah they would never even no no i mean ben kingsley is half indian played gandhi yeah but he's like you know so it was okay sir ben kingsley um, yeah. <laughs> yes but i don't know no i don't think it would happen but yeah. i played a nicaraguan in this terrible movie also after short circuit then I couldn't get cast as a, a white guy. <laughs> I couldn't. Every role I got offered was to play an ethnic part. And did you think back then, like, oh crap, I'm, I'm getting marginalized? I was. Yeah. Well, I, I literally, uh, I, I got cast. Then I got a Broadway, an off, a really great play, but I, I played 18 characters, but I played like six Indians. A perfect Ganesh. I mean, I was fucking good as the Indian at that point. Now I couldn't probably even do it at all. But back then I was like into it. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs>